Let's continue our discussion of debits and credits. Let's see where that leads us. Let's go back and review the transactions that we made before. I began my company with $5,000 cash. I am going to debit, mean, meaning that it's the left side of the account, that I'm going to debit $5,000 and I am going to credit paid in capital $5,000. You'll see that I got rid of the big T. That was just a conceptual thing that, so that I could show you when an account is increased with a debit or a credit. We then went out and bought a truck, old dilapidated truck for $1,000. I debited vehicles for $1,000 and credited cash for $1,000. Cash went down. Let's now add another transaction. It's a good time to borrow money, so I go to the bank and ask for a $10,000 loan. They give it to me, amazingly enough. I put it in my checking account. I increase cash by $10,000. Who has claim to that? The bank now has a $10,000 claim against me. As we do each transaction, it's important to note, debits equal credits. Now I may end up in each transaction doing more than one debit and more than one credit, but my debits have to equal my credits. And as I do that, throughout the history of the company, my debits equal my credits. So if I go take a look at Microsoft and look at the history of all of their accounting transactions, all of the debits will equal all of the credits. Remember we talked about the balance of, a, of an account? Here's my cash account. I have $15,000 of debits, $1,000 of credits. The balance in that account, if I were to just summarize it here, is $14,000. And if I look very quickly, my assets, I have $15,000 of assets, which is $14,000 cash and a $1,000 vehicle, and I have $15,000 of liabilities and owner's equity. One of the techniques that I use in accounting to ensure that I am always in balance is something called a trial balance. And it's called a trial balance because we're trying to balance. And if I just put that in the center here, let's take a look at what that is. So I'm going to make a little trial balance here. Let's imagine that I have a piece of paper or report that I'm putting that out. In my trial balance, I list all of my accounts. So, and I'll start here with cash. Cash. And I have a debit side and a credit side. So my balance in cash is $14,000. Is that a debit balance or a credit balance? It's a debit balance. I have vehicles. I have a $1,000 vehicle. Is that a debit balance or a credit balance? It's a debit balance. Notes payable, I'll abbreviate it here, NP. Notes payable, it's $10,000. That's a credit balance. Liabilities have credit balances. And my paid in capital, my owner's equity, I'll abbreviate it here, PIC, is a $5,000 credit. Lo and behold, my total debits equal my credits. When we had done books manually, this was a bigger challenge because I could transpose numbers or I could mistakenly put in a debit that did, didn't equal a credit. In computerized systems, the computerized system will force you that in every transaction, you, your debits equal your credits. But this is a trial balance. You might then use this for other purposes. If, for instance, I print out a trial balance, I can take a look at all of my accounts in just a summary fashion. But this is a trial balance. It's called a trial balance because we try to balance. And it's the precursor to some other things that we're going to do. But by taking a look at this lesson, what I want to reinforce is accounts on the what side of the equation increase with debits. Accounts on the right-hand side of the equation increase with credits. In every transaction, my debits have to equal my credits. Well, they will. 
not not only that they have to but it's physically that's the that's the balance of the accounts we're looking at two different sides of the same thing I can then complete a trial balance that shows all of my accounts and their debit and credit balances I will then want to ensure that my debits equal my credits now to make a long story short these could balance but I could still be incorrect because I could have for instance credited something when I should have debited it and debited something when I should have credited it so I would still be in balance but I had done the wrong thing so we can look forward to using this statement again because it will help us in preparing our financial statements but remember debits equal credits